everyone has been watching her, Stephanie the Slag, do all of this. They're all taking her side here. Dig this. She knows that there's finally been enough rope to hang herself <gasps> with, and now she's going to backpedal right the way out of that because she, because she wants to self-preserve now. But you Now were, she's making chuchi chuchi with But you But you were bang on. Mm. You were bang on. And when you said, well, said what you said, you haven't got to apologise for that. Okay, you haven't got to apologise for nothing. You are not a disgrace. She is. Yeah, That's she's just cheating on her boyfriend, you fucking stupid dickhead. <laughs> she's got enough rope to hang her, Sally just said there. That's one of the most offensive things I've just said. Bear in mind earlier on, Gemma Collins did say he hasn't got an arsehole. And about John, well, John must have an arsehole, otherwise he wouldn't have a boyfriend. A very happy one, anyway. She's got to remember, she has a boyfriend who she lives with, who she has said is the best thing in her life. Exactly, Davey. Exactly, mate. The only one talking sense has just left the house because he can't stand the shit in there. If I wanted to listen to an arsehole, Stephanie, I would have fucking farted. She's been sussed. The only thing she's been sussed is necking on with another lad. Bear in mind it was Scotty T who said, I use necking on. So she didn't say a word to him because you know Scotty would have fucking laid her out. So she takes things personally and starts attacking Gemma. Listen to the way she's telling her, man, you're a bully, you're a bully. All she said was you've been kissing your lad. Well, your other lad. Whole bitch slut. You should be disgusted at yourself. What age are you? And the way you've been acting in this house. Don't have people running around after you like that. Well, so she's only to go seeing this because she got caught yeah. necking on with him. Don't even bother about speaking. Scotty T said it. Who should be disgusted at yourself? She then calls her Simba because of her hair, because apparently she looks like a lion, which is pretty fucking spot on. Top marks for that insult. But that's not the point. She called her Simba, so she took it pure personal again because she's being caught. So after all of this insult, she's just been pure grief now for the past two fucking hours. I'm sorry for shouting at you in the personal things I said, Jen. Don't worry. After all them insults, because she's in the garden by herself, now it's just one on one. She now has to find fuck that if Gemma Collins wanted to, she could just sumo slam her through the ground all the way to hell, the bitch. So she bottles it. I'm sorry. Jim, I'm sorry. Flappy ass. You now have to find fuck you would have got a fucking chin, so you said no. Apart from sorry. Now, moving on, you just ask Megan the psychopath, do you think I've lost him? And she goes, yeah, I think you've lost him. But this is how much she regrets her decisions of how much she's lost her boyfriend. This is how much she fucking regrets it. Are collecting refreshments. Jess. No, don't even try. Oh my god. I think you're back. I think you're back. This is Big Brother. Stephanie, remove your hand from the camera. She decides to put her filthy little mitt over the camera. To neck on with Jeremy, you're a fucking snake slag bitch. Now what you need to do, Sam, a boyfriend on the outside, you need to get loads of birds, because a loads of birds fancy you, have a big fucking gangbang, let them all suck the fucking cream off your dick, and just plaster it all over her Facebook. I will be insulting the bitch again some more tomorrow, so stay tuned. Team Armstrong. <laughs>